I'm installing casters on the subs because I don't want to have, I normally travel with these things. That the, you could get them at Harbor Freight Tools or Home Depot. Those little dollies, whatnot, they're great and all, but got these for, they're about $15 at a Home Depot this size. They have, a, a, they have them cheaper too, but they're a little bit smaller. Unlike the smaller ones, these are actually really good because they roll right over everything so much easier and they're rubber and they're like a nice rubber, cushiony in a way that takes vibration out. Thing is sitting right there. So here we have the casters. They're loose, they're not put on. How are you gonna do this, right? This is the very top, a little tip for you. When you do the bottom ones, put the bottom of one like right here to the corners and closer to the edge all right those are gonna hide no matter what when this drops down to the bottom the wheels will be somewhat like like leaning like so okay you don't want them like this because when you tilt this on this on its back what's gonna happen is gonna go boom, okay and you're gonna get like a thump sound you don't want that you want that somewhere around here that you see how the the wheel is gonna be catching somewhere around right there it's gonna drop but automatically when you're when you when you're sitting like here and you tilt it on its back what's this wheel gonna do it's gonna automatically do that for you okay and it's gonna give itself you know it, it makes it makes for for tilting it so much easier you don't want it right here because now you're fighting with the you know with the wheel even though you could still do it but you're gonna scratch this surface the point is you don't want to be scratching that you want you want to tilt this and for it to like almost immediately go right to the wheel okay you want you want the floor to just like catch almost immediately all right so that's where you're going to do that one that one you do that right here and this will be you know a little bit further in here okay you don't want them right here because now you got to wobble you know and if you want to use the sub as you know to carry some stuff on top of it you know which i don't recommend but you can you also use this as a dolly itself you got each one of these get them at home people you're going to do that you're going to need a drill because you're going to have to you're going to have to drill, you know, any spot. You know, you could take your drill bit and just slap a hole right there or I uh, have a hole punch. Make it mark all your spots. Boom, boom with a, with a hammer. Mark all the spots at the same time. Then you can take them all off and just like, you know, go to town with the drill. You know, and then you're going to come in with one of these once once it's drilled up. You're going to come with one of these and you're going to punch right in there and then come in with your you know, with the, with your uh, screw drill right in. All right, so there's the holes. Just gotta snap your finger and... All right. And there we go. Testers are on. Working really great. Yeah. yeah. Make life easier, okay? Oh, one more thing. When you decide to install these, make sure that you use, you know, preferably the same cardboard the, you know, the sub came in. So yeah, there you go. You're finished. You know, that's this side up. There you go. So look at this. See that right here? Watch. I'll show you guys. See how that rolls? I'll roll right into the trailer like that. Roll this bad boy right out. Granted, I'm gonna have the case on it as well. I love the casters, all right? See that? See how they roll? They roll any which way you want this thing and you position it and just drop it, leave it, that's it. Well, there you are, see, side by side, all done. Saving myself a shit ton of headaches. And uh, I am very surprised that JBL decided not to put casters on these. And the only reason I could think that they didn't put casters on this is because the, techn the new technology, the amp is so much lighter. The speaker is so much lighter in magnet and whatnot. All the technology has made these like one third of the weight of the what they used to be. If anybody has any older subs, they, got, they can honestly tell you that it's like lifting a safe. How heavy that amplifier, especially the powered ones. I had the safe, the, the amp inside of them with, with that was like extremely heavy, like 100 pounds all by itself. And then the magnet from the speaker and the plywood. Oh my God, it was it was the worst. As light as, weight as they are, they still are, have material and they're still heavy, okay? They're still heavy and you, have to, you need two people to lift this thing, okay? One person can lift them, but they're so wide, you know, that it's awkward to lift, so you're gonna need two people. And they're, though they're light, they still have weight to them, you know, and they're not that easy to move around. You know, that's my point. 
And I know what some of you guys are saying right now. Oh, wait, bud. I can see the wheels. I can see the casters. That's ugly. I'm super DJ. I don't put casters on mine. I lift my speakers. You know, I lift mine. I'm perfect. You know, I wouldn't ever put that on my speakers. I'd rather put them in the, in, in the dolly. Wait, wait, hold on. I got something for you. Because I took the liberty to set these up exactly how I would have them at a party. Okay. Well, the only difference is that this might be all the way over there. Separate from each other. But this is how they would be. Can you see the speaker? The, the, the casters? Absolutely not. You know, you can't. Okay. You have to be like, have x-ray vision to see those. Okay. The strategically put, put in, a, in the spots where I said, remember, you're going to go an, an inch lower here to the edge. You know, I want to, you know, don't want to go so close to the edge, but the bottom ones, yeah, you can go close to the edge. That way you don't see them. And guess what? This is the side where your audience is at. They're not behind there. You can't see them. And the one thing for sure I could tell you, at the end of the night, we put them on their backs and you're out and it is that fast. You don't have to worry about running into a back room somewhere where you hid your hand truck or your dollies or whatever. You have to come out and you have to do lifting and all kinds of stuff, you know, just to get that, get them ready to roll out. If you're in a pinch when you're by yourself, that's gonna be a problem. You know, it's, you, got, you need two people to lift these up. You know, if you're a DJ and you're looking to get these, these are the JBL EON 718s. 18 inch subs, they sound amazing. They're super powerful. They're really good, nice and clean and lightweight. You know, and obviously those are the EON tops right there as well. You know, paired up together, they sound super amazing. Super amazing. You know, they are definitely good. Want to know uh, how much I spent on the casters all together? Each side is about $72. You're talking $15 per caster and uh, and $12 in, in screws and, and anchors for, for them, okay? They're, they're sold separately, so. You're looking at $60, because they're $15 each. That's $60 plus 12, that's $72 that I spent at Home Depot per side. If you can find these on Amazon, you could just make sure that you get the ones that are three and a half inch, you know, the three and a half inch wheel and metal, and that they swivel, okay? And get the better, the ones with the better rubber like this one. Don't cheap out on them, because believe me when I tell you, these things are gonna help you, and, you're, and they're gonna pay for itself, you know, all the but like the video, okay? Don't just pass through. Just give me a like or a love or something on the video. Let me know you were here. You know, I definitely love to hear from, from everybody. All right, guys, peace and love. Thank you so much for watching.